This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Law Folds. Now this map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub. Now this map in its 1.0 release as of October 5th, 2020 is available for PC only. Now I did talk to DJ Goham. Uh, he is listed in the description as helping out with the testing on the map uh, and asked him to see him a mods. I didn't know how to reach out to him directly. He planning on releasing this map for console. And according to DJ Goham, he does feel that uh, the mod author is looking to put this on console. I don't remember if this map was available on console in 17 or not. Um, but the way I understand it is the map is planned for console, just not available yet. I think there was an issue with the console testing and kickback. I think he's working on that. Just wanted to get the map out to somebody um, early enough to, to kind of get the visibility out there is what I think CM Mod's main motivation was. So read a little bit of the description, and then we'll jump on in. Lawfolds is based around a real working farm in the fertile rolling hills of Grampain, Scotland. There are two farms, East Law, where sheep can be found, and Newton of Lusk, where cows can be located. Uh, this map also features three working farms, two of which have independent grain silos, three forestry areas, four different cell points, Aberdeen Grains, Highland Grains, Aberdeen Northern Marts Group, and housing estates for various crops. High capacity storage at Highland Grains, so you can store your crops waiting for good prices for free of charge. It says seed and fertilizer points on the farms at two and at two cell points, as well as storage for pallets on the farms for those that prefer pallets. Prices have been increased around the map, uh, which will help you with respect to land prices. Land prices are fairly expensive here. Uh, there are missions on all non-owned fields, and hedges, fences, and walls have collisions. Beware of that. Go ahead and jump on in. Did test this map out with straw harvest and seasons for the video, and there was no issues whatsoever with having both of those activated. Go ahead and load up our map. And here we are. We start here on the pig farm, our career start point, and in new farmer mode, uh, this is the starting farm. Go ahead and take a look at the PDA. Rolling out. Now, this is a standard size map. Uh, so it's two kilometers by two kilometers square, which is a standard size map. Uh, this is not a 4X map. It will feel like a 4X map uh, based on the field sizes, the number of fields, because you can see how dense fields are set up here on the map. Take a look at the starting land. He would start out by owning field 28, 29, 30, 31, and the pig farm. We also own a big grass field 39 down here, which is interesting since we own the pig farm. Over here we have a sheep farm and chicken farm, $328,000. does include a fair bit of grass up here on top of a hill. And then we also have the cow farm over here. 12.51 acres is mostly cow pasture for $91,000. We don't get any extra grass with cow farm. We do have some extra grass here with sheep farm. Again, big old field 39, which is 34 acres of grass, $831,000 pig farm. Also own at the start the biogas plant, $362,000. There is a forestry area right here, 286,000. There's also a forestry area here, $154,000. Uh, there's a little bit of a forest up here by the pigs and the sheep. 
description says there are three forested areas. I'm not sure if it's including this kind of strip of forest here or not as the third area. I'll have to kind of look. There's a little bit of grass or forest also here. Maybe this is the area it's talking about. $89,000. Some other field prices. Big old field 24. $1.3 million. 56 acres. We have other fields next to it. 40 acre field. 986,000. 47 acres. 1.1 million. 6. 45 acres. $1 million. 14, 14 acres. 9. 14. 2 is 35. So again. This map is going to feel larger than it is. Now in 17, interesting enough, I think we also owned 32 and 33. Possibly even 34 with the starting farm in 17. Start this map up in Farm Manager or start from scratch. We don't own any land, but all the equipment is here at the main farm. Take a look here at our selling points. We have three main selling points for the bulk of our crops. We also have spinnery for cotton and wool. We have housing estates for eggs and milk. We have multiple sell points for wood chips. We have two sell points on a new farmer mode for silage, hay, and straw. And then we have a couple sell points for manure and flurry. We do have straw harvest enabled. We do have pellet sell points here at A&M Bale Sales. Take a look at our starting equipment. Most of it, it's fairly well maintained, but the header for our harvester and our pickup truck, well, they're pretty much spent. And to get any type of working speed out of the header, it best served to get that maintained. A little bit of work here to do on our skid steer and our tractors. Other than that, everything is pretty well done. Don't have any pigs or any of the animals at the start. And as I said, we do have contracts available. 20, 18 acres, sugar beets. How about that one? 12 and field three. I will say, in 17, when I played this map, this field here was sugar beets at the start. It had a contract. And I tried, I tried my darndest horseplay to do this because it paid out a huge amount of money. And 17, you couldn't leave the field with the equipment for more than a few seconds. You couldn't jump out of the field to another piece of machinery uh, without being out of the, the equipment for a few seconds. And this field here, if I'm remembering right, you were pretty darn close to running out of fuel on the sugar beet harvester to get this field harvested. But man, it paid out a huge amount of money. Very, very tempting. So let's take a look here at our starting equipment. Start with the New Holland T5 100. Favorite 511C and the Massey Ferguson 7719. So our tractor's range in horsepower from 99 to 210 horsepower. To the Massey Ferguson 7347S harvester. That is paired up with the free flow 25 foot grain header. We have the New Holland C232 skid steer, 1978 pickup truck, and the TKD 302 trailer. To the POH5 plow. I understand a rapid A600S seeder, a breed all fertilize and lime spreader, we have a header trailer, and then we have farm boots. This is our sleep trigger. Thank goodness, the mods has put in a sleep trigger that we can sell and buy if we want to run the cow farm. Don't have to have the sleep trigger up here at the sheep or at the, sorry, pig area. We want to own the sheep farm. We can put the sleep trigger down there. We don't have to have it up here at the big area. Now, we don't have any other custom mods in here aside from two options on a vehicle workshop. Everything else is pretty much stock. 
can sell and we can buy sleep trigger. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So most of our buildings do have lights. Light turn on lights. There we go. We've got our, our skid steer. Garage here. Tractor in it. Pickup truck. This is the sleep trigger. There, you're not tired. Now I will say that I suspect this might get updated. Because if you happen to visit farmhouse are stuck in the wall just based on how the boots are oriented now you can obviously sell the boots place them down rotated so that when you visit you spawn about here as opposed to spawning in the wall um, these just need to be rotated 90 degrees face this direction and then you should be good with respect to visiting I need to take out the trash. So here we have the grain fill trigger here at the silo. Around the corner, we have our silo dump. This is a reversing in dump station for the silo. While we're down here, let's go ahead and check out the pigs. Big area, we've got flurry and manure. We have straw trigger food trough and our water trough now we activate the animal pen extension to help us identify one where the water trough is and two just to see if we have custom support for the water pipes uh, it is a very popular feature with the gamers around the corner we have our delivery trigger remember this has a hedge this has a collision, okay? So getting backed into here be a little difficult with a big trailer. There's your drop-off point for your pigs. 300 pigs in this particular area. You have working gates. All three of these gates work here at the pig farm. Pig area. We have a plethora of vehicle and implement storage all the way around here. You can put bales, bales everywhere, vehicles, implements, whatever you want. We have seed fertilizer and liquid fertilizer fill points. We have fuel. Then inside of here, we have what should be a workshop. Now, in my trying of this earlier, this trigger doesn't work. When activated, it's not working. Bring up F5, there's the trigger, but it's not working. Light switch, you can see the F1 comes up. Okay, but if we walk over here, don't get we don't get the the trigger. Now, once that's fixed, the workshop trigger is actually in here. So if you can't get it through that door, that opening, you're not going to be able to maintain it inside there once that trigger works. You have the ability to place workshop trigger, let's say, here. Go. That trigger is right beside it you can always do that here we have some more of our equipment we've got as the description said shelves at all of the farms you want to store your pallets on shelves and I don't remember if I mentioned this because I'm actually recording this video twice first time around I realized that I had done a graphics driver update and I wasn't recording any game audio. And I figured that out basically when I was done. So at any rate, I'm repeating myself. Oh well. So the sheep farm, you'll see there is no 
animal trigger icon for sheep or chickens. And for the cow farm, there's no icon for the cows. And it's because you have to own the land in order to use those animal areas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get set up for the fly around. I'm gonna go ahead and buy those animal areas. So when we get to those, we'll be able to activate the triggers and see how things work. But something else that you'll notice as we kind of look around the map is the map author has, and this was like this in the 17 version also, there's kind of staging areas. As you pull into a field, or areas where multiple fields are, you've got some dirt area here, uh, perfect for staging equipment, uh, setting up your harvester, your harvester headers, and everything before you really get diving into working the field. Really makes it feel a bit more realistic. Lots of farms really don't think you're going to have field right up to the edge of gate. Uh, in there, basically, there's no way to get your, your header in there on a trailer. Get your harvester turned around and hooked up. This one, a little small of an area. Still, there is a little bit of an area there. There's some maps. Lots of maps will have the field right at the gate edge. But I do like how this map has got this little bit of a buffer between the field and the gate. Um, at least here at the gate. So that you can get your header in here, get it positioned, header unloaded off onto the harvester, and probably stage a trailer there and such. Now, to get to the chicken sheep farm or the cow farm, you can get to it multiple ways. Come down through the main lane, and we're going to look at how to get into this farm later on. Come down here to the main lane and drive through here, and then hang a right to make your way over to the cow area. Hang a left, make your way over to the sheep area. Here is that big grass field. I remember having this field in 17. And, man, it was like we had this massive amount of grass, 30-some acres of grass, 100, 100 bales or more off of this. Just, like, massive way of earning money because mileage bales, sell them at the BGA. Yeah, that kind of brings back some times. So here is a little bit of a forested area. There's a little forested area there between those fields forested area over there one off in the distance way up there by the biogas plant not a lot of trees on the map of course you can always plant more this is sheep and chicken farm main entry into this farm is off of the road right over there come down this lane and again we've got these staging areas I've mentioned for these fields. This farm does not have a silo. Since it is a sheep farm, you really don't figure that you're going to need a silo, other than the fact that they do have chickens here. The farm is a little light on vehicle and implement storage, but we've got storage here. Fill triggers for seed, liquid, and solid fertilizer. You'll you have a working workshop trigger over here. This is not a silage bunker. This is just kind of an area where you could store bales or root crops, whatever. Implement storage, racks. This is the sheep area. We have a water trigger. We have our sheep trigger, 250, 250 sheep. Take our way around the corner here. Wool, like about room for four pallets of wool. We have our water trough, and we have our food trough. And look at this area for our sheep. 
massive area for a sheep. I think you could easily have 250 sheep in here and not have to worry too much about uh, them running out of grass to eat seasons. Then up here we have this little grass field on top of the hill. Also part of the sheep area. Now in 17, maps could have gold nuggets. And I remember, remember correctly, there were a whole bunch of gold nuggets, possibly all 100 gold nuggets, were up here on this hill. It was kind of like the end of the rainbow as far as your luck would go. Collected all 100 nuggets, you got a million dollars of starting capital. That was fun. Fun times to kind of explore and figure out where all the nuggets were. Other than finding out that some nuggets were buried in ways that uh, the player couldn't get to, then it became a little frustrating. Uh, at any rate, fun times. Down here we have the chicken area. We have the chicken buy point. 100 chickens. We have the egg spawn point. And then we have the food trough buried here in the grass. Now, also in 17, something that I will not miss, is in 17, right here, this is where the chickens spawn their eggs. And I'll tell you, it was near impossible to find those little eggs in this grass. One thing I did not look forward to doing. I think we might be missing a gate here. Not really sure. Anything at any rate, fence isn't fenced off or closed off there. All right, let's head on over to the cow farm. You can get you can get to the cow farm by looping around this road. Cow farm. We've got our milk trigger, manure, and slurry triggers here on the side. We have our food trough along the front of the building. We have our delivery point for our cows. 200 cows in this big area. Then we have our water trough. You have a silage bunker here at the cow farm. Runs the whole length of the trigger, or the, of the bunker, sorry. Fuel, water, storage, silo, out pipe, and just like the pig farm, we have our dump station here in the corner. More storage, more storage, and more storage. Got our seed fertilizer, fill triggers. Lots of storage here. Cow pasture. Now there are a few other ways into the cow farm here. Uh, this lane is one way in. Directly in front of you is the biogas plant. Um, Come through here. We're going to take a look at that in a little bit. Proper entrance into this farm is through a lane that goes this direction. Then I'll make a turn and run right along the edge of the map. I was kind of hoping that when I heard about this map being released for 19, they were going to work on changing the map edge. In 17, there are a fair bit of maps that use this flat tree texture as the edge works okay 
if you're fairly low to the ground. If you like to play, you know, up higher, third person, then oftentimes you kind of lose a little bit of immersion when you go and see on the other side of the map. Nice is all three. All three field entrances have signs telling you the entrance to each particular farm. Here we have the third forested area. Again, you can see the staging at the fields here. Got a cell point, bulk grain storage, and the biogas plant. Go this direction. We have our milk and egg cell point. Then you can see where the road turns right. And then straight on the cow farm. And right in front of us, we have that big old beet field I talked about doing contracts on in 17. Or should I say attempting to do contracts on in 17. I don't know if I was ever able to finish it off. I might have been able to. I mean, it took hours on hours on hours. And here we are at the shop. Vehicle shop. We have our bail cell point here. Hence the bail sign. There aren't any trigger markers showing you that. Here we have our wool and cotton cell point here we can purchase flurry and manure not where we sell our excess that's where we buy here's where we can buy our animals animal dealer one of the three grain cell points on the map a N M group wheat barley soybean corn sunflower potato and sugar beet is a back in cell point then we have our shop icon and our buy sell customize and pair on the inside go ahead and get our mahindra And there you can see your vehicle spawn point. Down here we've got lots of area to spawn in equipment. Uh, this map is a really nice map for multiplayer. You've got three farms. You can have three teams of folks working each farm. Plenty of fields. Fields are large enough to easily support multiplayer. These fields are fairly large, but an important consideration with respect to the roads here, the fact that all of these edges, fences, and walls have collisions. So there's only going to be a certain amount of sized equipment. You're going to be able to effectively get around the map on these roads and lanes. That's going to frustrate some players that are going to want to come in here with oversized equipment. Uh, but really, you need to pick the equipment that you play with based on what will work with the map. Here we have the egg and milk spell point. Gate that goes off here to the left, take you down to the cow farm. straight on through this four-way intersection we're gonna go to our biogas plant our second grain cell point as well as our log and wood chip cell point
here we have our log cell point there Highland Grain Limited is going to take our wheat, barley, soybean, corn, sunflower, potatoes, sugar beet, and wood chips. Right here. This is bulk grain storage. Here we have our pipe out. And right here you're going to be able to store wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, wood chips, manure. Now it's kind of interesting that this will let you hold manure and wood chips, but doesn't let you store grass, hay, straw, or silage. I found that kind of interesting. We would have manure and wood chips as storable options, but not other fill types. Here is dump point on 17. This did charge you a little bit of money per day to store your grain in there. But the description here in 19 seems to imply that storage there is free. Up the hill, we have our biogas plant. And we own this from the start. We have our Silo King digester. We have our digestate trigger here at the pipe. And we have five big silage bunkers. One, two, three. Four and number five. Seventeen, the digestate was over here at this tank. In nineteen, it's been moved over there to that outpipe. One more cell point to get to. It's on the north east of the map. When we get to that is we take the road here that runs along past the shop. is a little bit of a shortcut you could take to get to the pig farm here at this gate and then run down through there there's a gate and then that connects you to a lane takes you back to the pig farm that can save you a little bit of time like I'm not a big fan of how much grass there is between the hedge and the field or the fence in the field but I do like that staging area oh watch out here at Aberdeen Grain we have our third cell point Now, this cell point you need to be careful of 
Got a fairly low overhanging roof. So you might be able to come through here if you hug this side with a tipping trailer and not catch the roof. Uh, but this cell point is going to be basically best served with a walking floor or a push wall um, type trailer to dump without lifting. Pretty terrible high. And we have wheat, barley, soybean, corn, sunflowers, potatoes, and sugar beets. Now that basically is the map. I want to come down here and show you all the proper entrance into the pig farm, wall folds, and the sheep farm, which is east wall folds. Uh, but let me know, did you all play this map in 17? If you did, uh, what did you think of the conversion? Uh, do you plan on playing it any in 19? down this way Here we have the entrance to Law Folds, and this is the pig farm. And just looking at the road here, okay, that's the width you have to work with to get equipment back here to the farm. And you can use the store deliveries mod if you're on PC to have things spawn right at the shop at the farm still you're going to need to drive around the fields and inappropriately to size your equipment for these narrow lanes and roads fence the wall the hedge all have collisions make this tight corner straight on down to the pig farm You run back to the street, literally right around the corner is the entrance to East Walfolds, which again is the chicken and cheap farm. East wall. This entrance might even be more narrow than the uh, than the other one. Hey guys, that is it. That is wall folds for Farm Sim 19. Once again, it's available over at the Farming Simulator.com website for the in-game mod hub. As of the production of this video, the map is available for PC only. That may be changing in the near future. Uh, as I understand it, I think the map was intended to be released on all platforms. Uh, just there was a little problem with console compatibility testing. And as such, uh, that's being worked on. And hopefully, console players the map soon. Till next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.